Have you seen the NFT animated series? It's so Are bad. Are these yeti stupid or what? Hey Chucky, hey Chucky. This man's not hot Chucky. What is this? Bugger. Fuck! <laughs> you nonsensical <laughs> goddamn yetis are at it again. Leave it to me, boys. Finally. What is this? What is happening? See, I don't understand. Like, this is 100% serious, by the way. Musk won. The collection of this NFT collection are neo Nazis. Board Ape Yacht Club is racist and started by neo Nazis. There's a series of 10,000 anthropomorphized ape cartoons sold as NFTs. Since the project's launched, the value has amassed over 4 billion USD and spawned many similar projects. Apes of various clothing and other traits. Most traits are racially oriented or involve some type of military history. The act of disparaging someone by comparing them to the ape monkey goes back hundreds of years. Wait, that does look like the totem cough. The Basie logo looks very similar to the totem cough emblem. That makes sense. The project was launched by a company called Yuga Labs, and the Kali Yuga is a popular element of alt-right traditionalist ideology. Yuga Labs has gone to the effort to embed the traditional philosopher's name, Rene Gunon, who is credited for bringing Kali Yuga into Western thought, an alt-right icon inside one of their puzzles. Also embedded is the word uh, macaque, a known racial slur. All the co-founders are anonymous. We don't know their true identities. One of their handles is Gargamel, a character from the Smurfs who's acknowledged as an anti-Semitic depiction of a Jewish person. Also a common term used on 4chan to discuss Jews since they brought this up. He's gone through the effort to try to hide it. The other co-founder goes by Gordon Goner, who says he picked the name because it sounds like Joey Ramone. Being that the group frequently uses anagrams and that doesn't sound at all like Joey Ramone, maybe this is an anagram. Sure enough, it's a whole world anagram for what? In the dictionary, such as second definition, so his name means stupid and uh, what? Writers often use anagrams for characters. I don't know. I can't tell if this is like too much. Like, I can't tell if this is like a crazy conspiracy or. Like this does, this does give me like a lot of, you know, uh, bro, I don't, I don't believe this. Uh, like, I don't know. It, it just seems a little crazy. This seems too much. This seems like a reach. The Rolling Stone cover features an ape with a Nazi hat on. No other militia history in the word is worn a style hat with a skull emblem. Wait, where? Oh shit! Where is the Rolling Stone cover? That's not a Nazi hat. That I mean, that's a bit of a stretch, dude. That's a bit of a stretch. Please don't make it a right versus left thing. It's just 4chan humor with sinister undertones. What? Just like, that's like a captain's hat. That they put a skull on. Creators said they were named after some Zelda villain that turned people into art, not whatever what they're saying there. The symbology is sus though. The co-creators went out of their way to tell the New Yorker that the official launch of Basie is the day Hitler died. What? The symbols, content, attitude, and images themselves share not neo Nazi ideology and war references, such as the Imperial German helmet. I've seen that one before. It's 4chan trolling? Like what? The the people who made this are doing 4chan trolling? Or do you think like this depiction is like 4chan trying to take credit for something else? Like I, I feel like
Let's turn NFT into a racial slur against black people. I think we should do this for the following reason. NFT starts with letter N. NFTs are commonly associated with monkeys. And finally, most importantly, it would make all people trying to get rich off this shit, especially celebs and influencers really, really fucking mad. Let's do it, bros. Dude, I'm sorry. First of all, yeah, that... I do believe that they it, they could be, like, f trying to fucking turn this into, like, oh, yeah, it's actually 4chan. But, like, I hate these fucking takes because I love when whenever people are like, oh, dude, it's dude, look at this proof. Like, yeah, this is probably a fake pose, dude. You know what I mean? I mean, I hate NFTs. I hate NFTs. But, like, I hate every part of this because every part of this is fake. Okay? Every part of this is fucking fake. I hate these sorts of posts when it's like, oh, dude, uh, this is proof that it was made in 4chan to like, it does seem like it. It does seem, it does seem like 4chan uh, was like, let's jump on this and make it seem as though this is like, uh, you know, Nazi shit. <sighs> but usually whenever they do that sort of stuff, it's like, this is totally Almost fucking. Year of brain rot. Let's go. It's it's post hoc. <sighs> Will you buy one of the ape NFTs? No. Why does it matter to me? This is a terrible example of other creators setting a bad tone for future generations of art. Stand up, stand up against Basie. There's a hidden encry encrypted meaning reference iceberg theory. In the same interview, Gargamel cites Ludwig Wittgenstein, quote, let the unutterable be conveyed unutterably. Seems strange if they're just cartoon apes, no? What are the other meanings? Yet they've... Yeah, no, I, I don't think this is real. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think this is... What? Ryder Rips made this? Love you, Hassan. Clear market manipulation. The ape's fair market value is about 120 e ETH. But this is so this is a place so they can get press and headlines featuring Justin Bieber and million dollars. Full scam. Montana Black is half Turkish, by the way, gentlemen. Nice. Good to know. Uh, I'm sorry, but these fucking apes are not art. Is literally selling a uh, dress up gotcha game image. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Um, I don't really care about this dude I mean let him fucking let him eat each other alive uh, let's watch this hey buddy you flown this thing before or um well actually I had my first flight just last week long story short ended up a little dead yeah this is a good start yep yeah, yep yeah, real good two days earlier <laughs> Fuck. If they're so rich, why couldn't they get like an actual animator to like do stuff? This is like, this is like worse than Newgrounds, dude. This sucks. It's so fucking trash. It's so garbo. How the fuck do you just, how do you fuck this up so bad? Like you, you couldn't. I thought you guys were worth like millions and millions and millions of dollars. Why can't you fucking hire real animators and like real fucking voice actors and shit? Because then you'd have to be judged on the merit of the art that you're creating, in which case all of a sudden that's an entirely different ball game. Whereas this is once again, as I've said time and time again, purely a speculative asset it's better off if they never actually try to make something out of it because if they try to make something it's like this and it's dog shit and this will ultimately lower its fucking value you know no humans detected dope Bigger than I thought. It would take too much time. 
gold. I ain't seen that shit in years. Intruder detected. Dispatching response team. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bro, this is literally like like a kid. This is like a fucking kid, dude. Like I feel I don't know. I I feel like a kid made this. Like I feel I don't know how to describe it. On pause, I own that frame. The dogs cost 300k as NFTs, by the way. It's a popular NFT series. Stop pausing, I'm invested. <laughs> Dude. If you want fucking real value, it's called a $5 a month subscription. If you don't have $5, though, it's called a Twitch Prime subscription. It's quite literally free. Okay? As long as you have someone else's uh, Amazon Prime account that you can connect to your Twitch account, okay? And that way, you get to avoid the top-of-the-hour ad breaks, okay? That's the real, that's the real value. You get what you fucking, you get what you pay for, okay? That's it. No thrills, no frills, just, just shit, real shit. And you get emotes as well, which is kind of like an NFT, I guess, even if you want. If you want the thrill of an NFT, there you go, you get emotes as well. Here's the one-minute ad break now. Thank Keep you, Choppy Toppy. Later, Habibis. Later, Habibis? Oh, God. Thank you, Choppy Toppy, for the 10 gifted subs, by the way. Allowing 10 people to no longer see the ads. So they can get this. So they can... Bro, are they going to streaming services now? No shot. They're on Apple TV and Amazon Prime by the end of season one. Yes, hun. Get ready for the red carpet. No fucking shot. What? Two chains produced this? Did he draw it too? Cause it's dog shit. They say that I'm way too cold. They say that my heart's too froze. They say that I'm made of gold. Tell me sign I didn't know. They say that I'm way too cold. They say that my heart's too froze. They say that I'm made of gold. Tell me sign I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Tell me you've got something good. Um, honey, would the husband you idolize and adore let you down? Don't answer that. Do you know what this is? This little lump of gold is actually a device containing the most valuable NFT ever created. I read about it in Vogue. NF what? Non-fungible token. Non-fuckable token. All you need to know is that it actually is worth more than- What? Why is the guy like- oh, Why is he talking like the non-fuckable token? This is so funny. This is- this is humor. This is pretty good, dude. I don't know, the shirts be looking confederate flag sus- Dude, stop. Stop thinking that it's all racist. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Holy fuck. You guys like you guys see fucking racism everywhere. Please stop. Okay. More than the entire city of Paris. Including the awful tower. Yes, including the Eiffel Tower. That'll be our ride out of here. Why are there random monkeys in there? This is another nice man. Is it fine if I support for two like that? No, it's not, you fucking weirdo. Fuck you, dude. Yes, you got us into who? How? Huh? Is there a fucking owl here? Before you say this is Hitler, okay? It's this is like not. All right, it's fucking. It's probably like. Old school, like, Charlie Chaplin era fucking Dumbo, Laurel and Hardy, whatever the fuck. Give me that. You won't get away with this, He's Chucky. Two days later. Abbott and Costello, whatever the fuck it's called, I don't know. Porter, please make your way to the boarding gate. The entire craft are waiting to board Uranus. Well, I'll be. 
There's life on Mars after all. Welcome to Mars International Airport, motherfucker. We outside. Hey, Maurice. Hey, yo, Maurice. We don't pay you minimum wage for no reason, man. What you doing? Put him in a boat. We've got an amazing opportunity here. So I, I suspect other than T chains, there's not or T chains, two chains. There's not a single black person that worked on this. Like, cause that that don't, dude's what white. What you doing? Put him in a boat. We've got an amazing opportunity here. Don't fuck it up. I don't know. Um, Doctor Nwatiti, what are you doing? You can't just snack on civilians like that. Hey, hey, what are you talking about? That is not very nice. Passport, please. I'm Winky. He's Chucky. These young monkeys are. Yo, that was fucking. <laughs> that was not good, bro. Like hey, hey, what are you talking about? That is not very nice. Passport, please. Motherfucker I'm clicked, winking. bro. He clicked, okay? He's Chucky. These young monkeys are Caesar and Hunky, and the dog's Rocky. Oh, and this is Dr. Nwatiti, our family doctor slash hypnotherapist. Slash the last guest you want at a dinner party. <laughs> My cholesterol is gonna. I gotta, go I gotta pick up you. something. I'll There's be. No hold on one second. Your life story, Earth. I gotta pee. Well, you better limber up, buddy. We've got a bus to move. Oh, you're working for the bus for council? Well, why didn't you say so? Anyway, this all seems to be in order. Here are your documents, by Harry friend. Hi guys. <laughs> Make sure to get your gravity sneakers fitted before going outside. All right then. Gravity what? Next. Oh, apes. What a sexy surprise. Shoe sizes and body weights, please, my darling. Get them wrong and you'll float away. And die. We're doing two for one discounts from Gravity Shoes for the two ones. Sick. Size 14 and 200 kg, my man. What the? No tea. Oh hey, my guys. God. Why is every NFT, like, work uh, of art? Like, why is every attempt when, like, NFT bros try to make, like, art or whatever? It's just like this. It's always... This is, like, the same as Crypto Island. I gotta pee. I'll be back. Hold on. <laughs> and how about the rest of you cheeky monkeys? We're not monkeys. Do you see a fucking tail on my ass? Caesar! What the fuck, little guy? Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him Horatio, a fellow of infinite jest. You sure this is our kid? Well, he's definitely my kid. All right, you know we are gonna party hard, man. Where the girls them there? Oh, here we are go. Oh, sh hey, what is this, man? Bomba clad, man. I would them. Them here, me yard. Me no know you. Move your bomba clad, man. There are powerful forces at play here that are beyond all of our control. Let me see. What's happening out there? There is at least four apes out there, mi amor. No way. We cannot let them all in, surely. But if we do, they can hang around. <laughs> Get it? You're kidding, mate. Here, give me that. Hey, neighbors, who the hell are ya? So we're watching the whole season, right? We're watching the whole season, right? That's what we're doing, right? Like, we have to, right? It seems like y'all want to fucking go to the moon, dude. It seems like... I love watching... It, dude, dude, dude. People think it's really subversive when Seinfeld creates a show about nothing, okay? Where absolutely nothing happens. But when it's a bunch of fucking crypto NFT bros that are also uh, doing a show where literally nothing happens. Which is wild. How did it... There, nothing happened. Like, they didn't even travel anywhere. They were, like, trying to travel. There was no... Why did they make this?
I find it very ironic that many of my biggest fans do not live their lives anywhere close to what I'm saying. And let me actually point this very directly to my community because I live in the V Friends Discord all the time. And I can tell you right now, some of my biggest fans holding seven tokens are incredibly not civil when somebody comes in and tries to bring negativity. There is no compassion. It's fuck you troll, get the fuck out of here. I'm not perfect. Somebody comes in and asks a question, they need to be treated with a civil answer like I'm doing it. If I'm in there treating someone who's descending voice with respect, we've got to learn this. They gotta read 12 and a half. You talk that Gary V shit, you don't live that Gary V shit. You don't live it on the kindness and humanity. You don't live it on the empathy and about that. And I don't say that on stage to come up here and like, I'm good. I'm coming on stage saying, cut that shit out. I promise you, it's real. Dude, Gary V's biggest mistake, or not biggest mistake, but like Gary V fucking trying to get people to join Discord in general is just awful, okay?